Howdy everyone, welcome back to the generic brand game show in generic land. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. We are soon going to start the final round. Here on the red team, we have Blade and a decapitated robot guy named Dio. And on the blue team, our favorite immature boy duo, Fetus and Doorknob. We're gonna be rich, you stupid butt munch. <laughs> hey, host person, I have a question. Yeah? Why are you introducing the teams if we are in the final round? You know, actually, that's, that's a good question. Anyways, to recap last round, we asked you to name some stuff you'd keep as a pet. And unsurprisingly, for a stupid robot, he said crocodile. And for fetus and doorknob, they said woman. Ah, uh, doorknob isn't like Twitter gonna get mad at us for this or something? No, you dill hole. The score is still <sighs> zero to zero. I have never had such goons on my show before. All right, final question. What is the first element on the periodic table? <laughs> Yes, doorknob? Uh... I don't know. And what about you, Dio? Bzzz. And your answer is... H! You know what? That's close enough. But that answer still isn't enough to warrant a cash prize. However... How about I give you a consolation prize? Here, have this special badge of honor. <laughs> He's a smooth brain. Yeah, yeah! We won, Fetus. They're so smooth brain, they're walking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Uh, Fetus? Yeah. What the smooth brain? Well, that sucks. I was hoping for 30,000 credits. Instead, I got this badge that offends me on a personal level. And the host spray painted a no-no word on my head! Rolling <sighs> Well, perhaps we could mourn our game show losses and cheer up by going out for a late night dinner. Oh, oh, oh! Blade! Can we go to Tasty and that's it? Nah. Aw, but they have a bottomless fry sweepstakes going on. Blade, can we please go to Casey and that's it? There's no goddamn chance Stan is open at 83LBW. Could that be a customer? It is! Blade, Dio, come on in, grab a seat! Well, thanks, Stan. Hold on, Blade. Trent, break time's over, get off your goddamn phone! Hey! Oh my god! Hey! Hey, what the hell, man? Sorry, I'm very manic. Fire up the grill for my two gentlemen. Okay. So, how have you kids been? Well, we just came from our night on generic knowledge. We did a very... Blade? Yeah? Can we please go to Tasty and that's it? Dio? The answer is no, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, come on guys, don't go! You guys are our first customers in three whole weeks! Ah, fine. I love the number three anyways. And also, I'm just curious. I wonder why you've had absolutely nothing going on for three whole weeks. Actually, I don't know. Anyways, sorry to change topics abruptly, but are you guys ready to order? Yeah, I am. What would you like? 
Can I have the giant burger wee steak? Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. Emergency wee sauce wee cast. Wee woo wee woo what the wee hell? Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. We interrupt this program to bring you the best pizza generic land has to offer. What? I present to you Josh's Pizzeria. Here at Josh's Pizzeria, we go absolutely crazy with our pizzas. How about you try our Extreme Meat Pizza? This bad boy is tapped with all the meat your average American eats on a daily basis. Or how about the Evil Garden Pizza? Featuring only our freshest hot peppers sourced from the farms of hell. And after a delicious pizza, how about you go to one of our many attractions? How about our animatronics show? How about some of the best arcade games on the planet? How about even hydrating yourself with a cold slushy? Slushy! So come on down to Josh's Pizzeria today. Don't forget, we have takeout and catering options now. I love each and every one of you. Well, not really. See ya! Oh boy. Stan? Stan? Wow, Blade! He must want to go there so much! He's turning light blue! How'd you get to that conclusion? I don't know. I still wonder why Stan is acting like... WHO YOU CALL IS STAN?! <laughs> okay, dude, let's get the fuck out of here! Hopefully he won't be this mad tomorrow! Ah, oh, poor Stan. That restaurant must be taking all the money he deserves. I wish there was some way we could take down that evil piece of purple pepperoni. What the hell is this? Generic Land High School's Word of the Month, May 2001. Espionage. And espionage is when someone goes undercover to obtain information. That's it! Blade, we should commit an espionage! No! Shh! Don't shout that! Oh. Do you want to go undercover and see what's cooking the chest so we can learn their secrets and so many customers? Yeah. I guess so. Hi, welcome to Josh's Pizzeria. My name is Alfred. What can I get for you, sir? We want to come in and ask for Shh, Quiet! Sorry about that, Alfred. He meant to say that we want to apply for a job. Okay, sir. Let me ask the manager real quick. So, uh... Do you think Stan is okay? No. He said to come right into his office, sirs! Follow me! He should be right in here. Hey kids, I heard you want a job. Yeah! Yeah, you want jobs? Yeah, you're not a freak! Huh? Uh, anyways, sit down and I'll gladly tell you both how you can become a part of the Josh's Pizzeria working team. First, I'm gonna need you to sign this contract, agreeing that I get to control every facet of your life if you get fired. I have the right to cut open your bodies and get your spleen, colon, liver, etc, etc, yada yada yada. Hmm, the handwriting's a little sloppy. Wow, Blade! You have sloppy handwriting? Yeah. Guess what? Me too! Alright, part two. I have one task for you two to do, so that you can become a new part of the working team. Which is... Make a good pepperoni pizza. Just go home and cook a good pepperoni pizza. Just make sure it tastes good, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Burger. Batter. Fly! <laughs> he thinks he can steal my job, my livelihood, my passion. Well, I've got the gift for him the Art of the Krager 5000. <laughs> Once he dies from my heart attack on a plate, 
that I could take over as manager and run this shit all into the dirt. Hello, Alfred. Can you get the manager out here? Holy shit! You have an outside food and or drink? Guards! This guy violated rule 1A of code B in page 1! Escort him this instant! No! No! I was gonna ask the manager for a taste test! Just come with us, bud! No! Guards, stop it. I love reviewing food. It's just something I love to do as a side hobby. Now, what have you got for us today? For you, I got here the juiciest, fattiest burger known to mankind. Ooh, no thanks, buddy. I'm on a diet. Oh, okay, fine, if it will shut you up. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, what the hell, man? You gave me a heart attack. You know you're lucky I carry a toilet plunger with me at all times. Otherwise, you'd be charged with murder. You're out of here! <laughs> Ugh. This sucks. <sighs> I wonder how people could pay for a stock anyways. Now, I need an idea on how I could do better than him. I've got it! Free burgers and fries! Get your free burgers and fries today only! Wow, for free? Apparently. What's the point of paying for pizza when I could just sub when I could just shove some sliders and french fries in my face for free? Yeah! No, don't go, don't- Oh yeah, I forgot I did a thing to their supply of ground beef. What did you do, sir? Oh, uh, uh, nothing? Yeah, 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 Chef Wonton and Shiitake's video cooking classes for young apprentices. Boy, I think you got one of those baby Einstein ones. Y you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? No, not really. Anyways, let's put this old thing into the DVD player. Good morning, class. Today, we are going to be making a classic pepperoni pizza! Now first, your dough. Willy nilly! Willy nilly! Wow! Thanks for the ingredients, Shiitake! Alright, first we're going to knead the dough. But Wonton, I thought we already had the dough. No, Shiitake. Not that kind of knead. We're going to K-N-E-A-D. Knead the dough! Oh. Now, get out your tomato sauce, and we're just gonna spread it in little circles. And now, the mozzarella cheese, just sprinkled around the sauce, just like Times Square on New Year's. And lastly, the pepperoni. We've already made the pepperoni in one of our previous lessons, but frozen pepperoni, a pepperoni from the deli aisle, works just as well. Green zing! That's right, Shiitake! We are now going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees Kelvin. Brada, 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 brada. Wait, Fahrenheit? What's a Fahrenheit? Brada, 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 brada. Oh, okay, my bad. 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're using a generic Land C602 model oven, 
please, by all that is holy, do not press the green button. Ah! Oh no! I pressed the green button! I wouldn't worry about it. But what if we do have the C602 model? What if our house self-destructs? Or even worse, an ad will play. Dio, calm down. I don't even know if we have the generic land C602. Bumble X, I feel like my best. Compared to other medications, it's better than the rest. Take Bumble X today and say goodbye to that nasty nose hair cancer. Da 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 Generic land news. Hello, and welcome back to Generic Land News. What you are seeing behind me is the premiere of a very interesting movie presentation being held at Stan's Eatery called Leaving Handsome Land. Which is apparently about a middle-aged man suffering permanent and really bad acne after eating a slice of pizza from Josh's Pizzeria, the restaurant right across from here. Let's see what they have to offer. Hello, and thank you for coming. Today, I need to tell the truth for my friend. He ate the slice of pizza at Josh's Pizzeria and suffered really bad acne. He had all kinds of pimples on him. White heads, black heads, one heads, two heads, red heads, blue heads. It was just awful for him. I have video footage of him catching the acne. Let's watch. Hello, my name is Todd. Today, I will be eating the pizza. Nom nom nom. That pizza was very delicious. Uh oh. Oh, f I'm suffering really bad acne. Oh shit! Ah! Don't eat at Josh's Pizzeria if you don't want pimples. <laughs> yeah. It was very tragic. Any questions? Firstly, why and how should I be worried about food of all things giving me acne? Secondly, my girlfriend has lots of pimples and I find her attractive. Yeah, I'm a literal pimple and everyone finds me handsome. Let's fuck off, guys. This ain't worth the time. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm out of here. Yeah. You guys are all pieces of shit. My, my, my friend still has bad acne and he's bullied at work. No, I'm not. How about you go? I can't take it anymore. This means war, literally. And guess what? I know just how to start the war. <laughs> hey, Asiago Franz Ferdinand. Do you know if I should? Oh, Jeebus! He actually killed Asiago Franz Ferdinand. Attention, Attention employees. employees. This, this is an emergency. emergency. I, repeat, I repeat, this is an emergency. emergency. What happened, Thur? That deranged blue guy who owns the burger joint next door just killed our old pal, Asiago Franz Ferdinand. Awww. Does this mean war is about to start? Alfred, shooting star person, get out the mole guns. Generic ghost person thingy, get out the cola nukes. And put one of those pincher thingies on your nose. They smell and taste like battery acid. No! Yeah! Hello, and welcome back to Generic Land News. What you are seeing behind me seems to be the same weird blue guy who owns a burger joint getting in, a, in the food fight of the century with some sort of piece of rotten pepperoni who owns a pizza shop. I see some cola and minty nukes on both of their sides. Fingers crossed it don't result to new color warfare. Sorry, I uh, I cracked myself up. Oh boy, I can't wait to obtain the secret recipe to Josh's Pizzeria and give it to Stan so we can get his customers back. Hey guys, I got my final solution to foil this evil restaurant once and for all. Oh god, are you gonna nuke the pizza place? I see a group of cola nukes right behind your restaurant. No, worse. 
Oh no, you're going to commit a mass genocide on all the pizzas in the world? Even worse. No, please, don't. Please, Stan, whatever you're going to do, please, don't do all this just for some lost money. My name is Victor and I give no fuck! Oh, Josh's Pizzeria! Yeah? I don't think you should be here. Your owner is a dirty scumbag. Really? Yes. He is actually a huge anti-genericist. Look at this picture. He's peeing on the generic land flag. Do you respect someone who does that? Aw, that makes me really sad. I think I'll leave. I don't want to support an anti-genericist. <laughs> Hi guys, what happened? Your skin turned blue and then you started doing everything in your power to ruin a restaurant's reputation. Really? I, I, don't, I don't recall. Probably just a bad dream you had there, Blade. Alright, see you both later. <laughs> 2 37 a.m. Hey, restaurant, wake up. I just wanted to say that that light blue guy you spoke to earlier is a dirty, evil liar. But he literally showed me a picture of you peeing on the generic land flag. You do hate this country. No, I, I swear, that, that was edited somehow. Oh. So he's a liar? Yes, that's right. And I have the perfect revenge plan for someone who took me to hell and back. <sighs> I need... need glass water. Huh? Surprise, punk! <laughs>